हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्मार्ट स्टडी विद मानसी एंड दिस इज माय फर्स्ट लेक्चर सेशंस ऑन वाटर सप्लाई इन वेस्ट वाटर इंजीनियरिंग ओबियसली दिस कोर्स कंटेंट्स बोथ द वाटर सप्लाई एज वेल एज द वेस्ट वाटर ट्रीटमेंट्स एज यू नो बट द वाटर सप्लाई हैज द डिफरेंट कंटेंट्स एंड वेस्ट वाटर हैज द डिफरेंट कंटेंट्स सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द वाटर डिमांड्स विच इज द पार्ट ऑफ ओनली वाटर सप्लाई इंजीनियरिंग so water demand is nothing but the volume of water requested by users to satisfy their needs in domestic use commercial use industrial use public water use and also in the fire fighting purposes and the other type of water losses are also counted there normally this is necessary to determine the consumption and circulation of water demands on the daily basis weekly basis monthly basis and yearly basis before designing of any water supply schemes but first of all we need to know how water will be used in the different sectors it's entirely not possible to determine the actual consumptions of the water but according to the certain empirical formulas we can determine that the consumption of water for different uses just like domestic water demands industrial demands institution and commercial demands demands for the public use fire demands losses and wastes the very first demand in this category is the domestic water demand which includes water used for the drinking bathing washing of clothes cleaning of houses toilets and most importantly water consumption for the cooking purposes generally household consumption of the water depends on different factors like the personal habits of that particular area and people's habit social status of the individual local climatic conditions of that particular area customs of the locality so this is entirely not possible to determine the actual consumptions of water so there is a provisions in the is code 1117 to 1971 13 135 liters of water per day per person as per the indian conditions in our country there is 135 liter per person but in developed countries or in rich living condition this ratio is around 250 to 350 liters the reason behind this difference in high consumptions of water in the modern facilities of the developed nations such as the air conditions of equipments air coolers as well as the equipments normally about 50% of the total daily amount of water is spent on the household consumptions so total domestic water demand is all about the personal habits of people social status of the individuals and climatic conditions of the of that particular area so next category in this water demand section is the commercial and industrial water demands basically the water required in the commercial places like private as well as the public recreational areas hotels offices shopping centers the water which are required in this sectors are counted in the commercial water demand sectors so water supply scheme should be designed keeping in view the consumptions of about 1/4 to 1/3 part of the total of the total water consumptions for this use so consumptions depends on the structure of the cities culture of the city its business developments as well as the developments of the populations and that particular area is under developed condition or in developed condition so this is all about the commercial water demands of a city next demands in this category is the industrial water demand and this industrial water demands includes the needs for the water in the manufacturing process operations process power generations coolings and in domestic use in the industries such as sewerages cleanups employee showering washings and sanitizations different industries like the pharmaceutical industry fmcg industry engineering industries automobile industry and auto component industries however the world's bank estimates that the current industries water use in india is about 13% of the total fresh water withdrawals in the country and the water demands for this industrial use and the energy production will grow at the rate of 4.2% every year so next category of water demand is the fire demand fires usually occurs in the dense populated area or in the industrial places factories 
फायर का जो सीवियर डैमेज टू द पीपल प्रॉपर्टी एंड समटाइम सीवियर लॉस ऑफ लाइफ नॉर्मली देर आर मेनी कजेस ऑफ द फायर दैट मै बी इलेक्ट्रिकल सट सर्किट्स एक्सप्लोशंस फायर इनफ्लैमेबल सब्सटांसिस और द कैमिकल्स इंटेंशनल फायर्स बाय द कैमिकल्स और द क्रिमिनल्स elements or the accidental fires results of the accidental mistakes so okay uh, these are the different fires uh, firing reasons in our society mainly so in every society fire brigades fire fighting squads are deployed in every city or in municipality area for the fire fighting so special watermen as well as the fire hydrants are installed so fire hydrants are installed to control the fire outbreaks or generally 5 to 10% of the main water supplies reserved for this purposes this quantity of fire fighting is calculated using the different formulas that are the empirical formulas like the national board of fire under water formula second one is the kaltzling's formula freeman's board formula weston's formula all these formulas are adopted in the every type of area but in india kaltzling's formula is corresponds to the position of our country so in india we are always try to adopt the kaltzling's formula for the calculation of the fire demands next demand in this category is the public water demands this means the water consumption in the public places such as हॉस्पिटल स्कूल कॉलेजेस टाउन्स हॉल्स रिलीजियस प्लेसेस और द डिफरेंट पब्लिक फाउंटेन्स रोड क्लीनिंग्स और क्लीनिंग ऑफ सीवेयर सिस्टम्स यूजली सेवन टू टेन परसेंट ऑफ द वाटर सप्लाई इज एलोकेटेड फॉर दिस पब्लिक कंज्यूपन ऑफ और द पब्लिक वाटर डिमांड्स लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट इज द लॉसेस और वेस्टेज ऑफ वाटर इन दिस कैटेगरी ऑफ वाटर डिमांड द फुल अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड फ्रॉम द वाटर सप्लाई स्कीम डज नॉट रीच द कंज्यूमर्स दिस मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफेक्टिव पाइप जॉइंट्स क्रैक इन द पाइप लाइन्स ब्रेक इज इन पाइप लाइन्स ऑल द फॉल्टी वाल्व फिटिंग्स लॉसेज ड्यू टू द केयरलेसनेस ऑफ कंज्यूमर वाटर थैप्स और अनथेटिक कनेक्शंस जनरली फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द वाटर सप्लाई इज एलोकेटेड फॉर दिस परपोजेज this purpose for the losses and wastage of water we are taking 15% of the total water demands for this purpose so friends these are the different type of water demands we have discussed before designing of any water supply scheme this is very important because before designing of any water supply scheme this is the primary duty of an engineer to examine the concept of water demand of that particular city for the smooth running of the water supply project uh in the next video i will show the new content of water supply and wastewater engineering if you like my video share it with your friends and subscribe it thank you everyone